Monaco was a forgettable race for Mercedes, especially during the pit stops. While Lewis Hamilton lost three places because he was called in too soon, Valtteri Bottas's pit stop turned out to be worse. Bottas's race would come to an early end because the team would fail to remove one of his tyres due to a machined wheel nut. In the aftermath, team principal Toto Wolff had suggested that Bottas had also played a role in the pit stop mishap as he hadn't stopped in the designated spot, and that had forced the mechanic to use his wrench at an angle, leading to the machined wheel nut. Bottas has now responded to this while addressing the media during Thursday's press conference. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, does Bottas agree with Wolf blaming him for botched pit stop? Bottas began by talking about his mental strength being tested. In the beginning of the season, definitely the mental strength has been tested. It's not been the easiest ride to start with in the last few races, having two DNFs. So, I would say there have been setbacks, and it's all about how you bounce back from those and how you move forward. He then explained why he is not going to give up. The loser option is to give up, and it's not something I'm going to do. So still keep very strong mentally and knowing that it's a long, long season ahead, and for sure, many good battles to come and hopefully many wins. Bottas then responded to Wolf's analysis that he hadn't stopped in the right spot during the failed pit stop. Yes, I was surprised. I saw the video, and for me, it was pretty spot on where I stopped, so yeah, I was quite surprised. He then elaborated on how he had already had concerns with regards to pit stops, and that he had raised those concerns with the team a few weeks ago. As a matter of fact, pit stops were one of my concerns already a few weeks before that I'd raised to the team, so it didn't come from somewhere out of the blue. We knew that we were not perfect in pit stops, as we've seen, and also other areas like tyre warm-up in qualifying. He signed off by reiterating that his accuracy was pretty good. I think I was like 2-3 to cm off the central line, and if you get that accuracy, normally it's pretty good. It can easily swing by 10-15 to cm, so I thought it was pretty spot on. Fast feed Red Bull's Max Verstappen has reiterated that winning Monaco is very special, but they want to be in this exact position in Abu Dhabi, which he knows will be very hard. He added that Baku is very different to Monaco, as Baku has a bit more space. It's very slippery around here. Mercedes Lewis Hamilton pointed out that it is hot in Baku. There are multiple reasons why Mercedes aren't great at Monaco. Similarly, there are some tight sections in Baku where they will physically just lose out, but in the past here, they've been okay, so he hopes this weekend it is close. Alpine's Fernando Alonso is happy with Sundays, but not happy with Saturdays since his return to F1 this year. Obviously, there are a couple of things that they need to keep working on, especially with tyre preparation. It's hard to switch on the tyres, especially on Saturdays, added Alonso. On Sundays, he's more or less happy with the performance with the races. He further pointed out how he has been in the points two times, and the three times he wasn't in the points, they finished a few tenths off the points. He is not too worried in terms of performance, and in terms of happiness or how he feels coming back, it's better than expected. He added that the two years out of the sport was needed for him after 18 seasons in Formula 1 non-stop. The full dedication, it was too demanding at one point. Mercedes Lewis Hamilton feels that it doesn't really matter what he thinks about Red Bull's flexible rear wings. He added that it is what it is. They're approved based on current testing methods and they're valid this weekend, so Mercedes can't do much against it. Red Bull's Max Verstappen, meanwhile, can understand people complaining, but it's all within the rules so far. There's nothing wrong with it. Of course, other teams try to slow them down, Max suggested. He also thinks that they have to look at the whole picture. The most important and dominant part of the car is the front, and Red Bull's doesn't bend there as much as other teams. McLaren driver Lando Norris's focus is on this weekend and getting a top 3 result again. He also added that he wasn't even aware of the statistic that he is the only driver on the grid who has a top 10 finish in every race since the Italian Grand Prix last year. Norris added that it sounds good, hopefully that doesn't jinx it. He also revealed that this year's car is different, you have to drive it differently and he's still learning at every race. And the transition from 2020 to 2021 was not easy, and he can't drive the car the way he would like to. You have to adapt to that, Norris stated. Will Norris be on the podium in Baku? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.